Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. Uh, this is the video that all the other videos have been leading up to. This is the progress video. I really started my journey in January where I uh, picked a workout routine that I, I really liked and, and began there. Throughout the year, I did my research on different routines, on different diets, uh, different tips, different types of lifestyle changes I could make in order to get to the physique that I'm looking for. Um, back in, I believe, June or July, I did a mid-year uh, progress update and I was able to see some results, so I was encouraged to keep it up. And I feel like I did a, a fairly decent job in maintaining a good routine. And so what I also did throughout the year was take a, a picture about once a month um, and I'm, I'll show you my progression throughout the year. What I want you to notice is some of the ups and downs throughout the year. The pictures will be in chronological order and you'll be able to tell that some months I look leaner before um, and then I look a little bit bigger the next month and then leaner and big and uh, you'll kind of see a little uh, roller coaster there which um, to me is a little discouraging but really it's just proof for me that this is a tough thing to do to cut out foods that you're accustomed to and getting into a healthy and consistent workout routine in order to hit your physique goals. So without further ado, here are those pictures. So this is what I look like now. Um, whenever I began last January, I was about uh, two, anywhere from like 208 to 212. So we'll say 208. And uh, when I just weighed in, I was at 191. Um, so that's a good 17 pound loss over the year. So I can't complain about that. My goal was uh, 188. So I'm not, I'm not far off. Uh, as far as like uh, inches go, I know some people are into that. Uh, I haven't really, I still wear the same size pants, but uh, I am able to go an extra notch in my belt. I know this isn't the same place that I did my other video, but I, I, I moved and I'm not trying to do anything with trick lighting or anything like that. This is the best lighting in my apartment. So, um, you know, uh, I understand that some of the pictures are zoomed in. Some of them are further away. Some of them I have a tan in. Some of them um, I'm shaved. I, it's it's just what was natural at the time. I didn't try to set up any um, perfect condition or anything like that to take these pictures. So just keep that in mind as you browse through them. And I definitely need to uh, move my camera because it's about to fall. And so as you can tell, um, I have seen through the pictures a, a bit of a difference. Um, and my day-to-day -day life is kind of tough for me, obviously because I see myself every day and it's just harder to uh, gauge a real um, difference in the definition without, you know, physical, physically seeing, you know, a six pack or something like that. However, I can tell a slight difference between the beginning of the year and now with my chest, my arms, uh, I've definitely lost uh, some, some of my love handles there. Um, and so that's good, but to me, in my eyes, uh, the progress from June to December is kind of a plateau for me. Um, even kind of looking at the, even looking at the pictures, I don't see much difference. And I would really like to discuss why I think that is. Um, obviously, I didn't go 100% with my routine with my diets and whatnot. And so some of the struggles that I had, I encountered throughout the year were times where, you know, I was just not motivated to go to the gym. It is very hard to do this by yourself. I will, I will say that I, if you have any kind of support system or anybody to work out with you, uh, I definitely suggest getting them on board with you. It's a lot easier. Yes, I have people that support me, but to actually go to the gym with me 
to help me cook and stuff like that, my options are very limited. That really messed with my mentality throughout the whole thing. Some days at the gym, I didn't do my full routine. I didn't do it at 100%. I didn't do the cardio that I wanted to do. And so I, I would get into the mentality where, you know, tomorrow's coming, I can just do my, my miles tomorrow. And then tomorrow would come and I would be too tired and not do it or something else would come up and prevent me from hitting my two mile cardio goal. And then I would, I would just push up, well, this weekend I'll be able to do uh, five or six miles to make up for my two miles. Well, something would happen the weekend, I didn't feel like running, what have you. So uh, what I've learned from that is write out your plan and stick to that plan. I've said it in a previous video, I know, but stick to the plan that you write up. Act like there is no tomorrow because that's really what got me into the situation that I was in before where I wasn't happy with how I looked and it was because I was eating wrong and I was always pushing it off. I'll start eating better tomorrow. Um, I'll cut this out tomorrow and I would just never do it. So with that being said though, I have noticed a little bit more motivation with making these videos. I figured it would be very hypocritical if I didn't, if I really half-assed the routine. And so when I did feel tired and, and trying to make excuses and stuff at the gym, I always kept in mind that I'm really trying to show people that results can be had in a natural, um, healthy way and so keeping you guys in mind i was able to do more than i have been granted like i said it's not as much as i can do which this year that is changing um i've already gone to the gym six days a week and so that in itself is more than what i have been doing going three or four days a week uh, biggest thing that's been the theme throughout all of my videos this past year was my diet is complete shit. Uh, also, that has changed this past month in December. I really started with my plans, with different recipes that I would like to try. Uh, I really got heavier into the research part of it. Um, like I mentioned in my diet video, your personal diet is very particular. So, um, like I said, what works for you may not work for me and vice versa. So, I really did deeper research in this last month to really see what works for me as far as taste, as far as cooking, as far as cook times. Uh, so taking that into account, I devised my own meal plan for the weeks and months. And I like diversity too. So it's, it's tough for me to meal plan the same meal uh, for four or five days out of the week. So taking all of that into account and again doing it by myself i've been uh a little overwhelmed at times but still um had a i wrote out a plan and i'm gonna really stick to that plan which i've done fairly well so far in 2018. so yeah um my overall goal was to have a six pack by the end of the year obviously i'm not quite there yet i did my body fat percentage around mid to late november and I believe then it was around a little over 12%. And from what I read to really see your abs in a six pack, you need to get down between like eight and 10. So 2% doesn't seem that much. And really if I put my mind towards the diet aspect of it all, I really think I can correct the issue of me not losing the, the fat. Really before summertime, I would love to be down to where uh, you can see a six pack. Even though physically I can't really see much of a difference in myself, I can tell a difference in the weightlifting part of it. I'm able to lift heavier weights. I am able to do more reps. And so that's also very encouraging for me, especially on the bench. I know um, for a lot of guys, especially their bench numbers, their squat numbers, their, uh, I guess, clean and jerk and, and different exercises like that is kind of a ego type thing. So to build up my bench press number and is one of the things that keeps me going. Oh, and you'll have to go back to the pictures, but look at my facial expressions in, in the pictures and kind of see uh, the progress in that, especially from the very first picture in January to about the mid-year. 
and towards the end, uh, I'm smiling more. My confidence is up. And I didn't realize how much that translated through your face whenever you're uh, whenever you're feeling better about yourself. So I thought that was really interesting as I was going through the pictures myself. Granted, I don't smile that much. I think it's just kind of weird to take a mirror or selfie anyway. So like, what are you happy about taking a mirror selfie? But anyway, that's a personal, a personal preference for me. But yeah, uh, this is this is how I look now. This is uh, we're about mid January now. I know this video is not exactly um, at the beginning of 2018, but it's close enough. And so this is where I'm at now. Um, and this is going to be another yearly thing for me. At the end of the year, I will do another video uh, mid year, same thing. Uh, throughout the year, I'm still going to have tips and different workouts and things like that. So stay tuned for that. And I guess, I mean, I can show you my back as well. That's a little bit, um, a little bit more defined, I think. Um, I work on getting the douchey poses for you guys. I don't really know how to do all the show poses and stuff because they look like weirdos doing them. But I'll figure that all out because it does show your muscles pretty well. And then one thing I would like to cover in this video that's slightly off topic is uh, resolutions. Um, I've noticed on Facebook especially something that really irks me and it's people that um, kind of uh, insult or maybe just make even a little bit of fun of people that make resolutions. And the, the common thing that I see is they say, why do you need a specific day, the beginning of the year to make a resolution? You should be able to do that anytime. And the issue that I have with that is Yes and no, that is correct. You should have the motivation throughout the year to, to hit whatever goal that you're making. But there's absolutely nothing wrong with creating a goal and using a day like January 1st to really jumpstart you into achieving that goal. There's nothing wrong uh, with doing that because, especially in fitness, I think in all aspects of life, but especially in fitness, this game is 90% mental. Well, I'll say, I'll say it's about 80% mental, 10% time management, and 10% physical. Um, the mental game is will make or break you. If you uh, half-ass mentally going into the gym, like I mentioned before, I would not be in the mood to be at the gym, so I wouldn't lift as much or as heavy, and it would just ruin my routine. Um, on the flip side, on the days that I felt really good, I was able to lift more than I thought and was able to last longer in the gym. And so the mental game also translates outside of the gym. Uh, when you get home and are too tired to cook, you know, you can flip the switch mentally and be like, you know, this is the goal that I had set on January 1st. It's January 10th. I've done well so far. May as well keep up the good work and get your ass in the gym and, and cook something good. And so that's it's just extra motivation. I don't see the problem in making a resolution in order to jumpstart the process of achieving whatever goal it is, fitness related or not. Um, so my advice to you is just do it. Um, don't really pay attention to the haters on Facebook, please. Um, the people that are just negative in your life, I I I can attest to this. They they they'll bring you down. But their point. And all of their negativity is to get you down on their level. They know you're above them on the positivity scale, I guess. And they want to bring you down to their level because they're unhappy with some aspect of their life or your life, whatever. And so I've been able to cut certain people out, especially this past year, um, that just, they, they weren't for me. And in my eyes, you're either for me or against me. I definitely advise you to get toxic people out of your life. They they affect you more than you think. Even if you're saying, oh, well, you know, I don't, I don't pay attention to them. You know, I don't know if it's subliminally, subconscious, whatever. It, it does affect you eventually. So um, it's best to just cut that out completely. But yeah, I, I guess that wraps this video up. Um, I appreciate all the support that different people have shown me throughout the year. I hope that this channel grows a little bit more. I hope that I can give you guys more content. Um, the person that I had to help uh, with the editing and, and filming in part, uh, she's been kind of living her own life and stuff like that, which I mean, no, no fault of her own or 
or I'm not mad about that at all. It's just um, the times get a little bit busy and especially at my job at the beginning of the year as well. So um, I do have several ideas for good videos coming up and I uh, hope you guys all stay tuned. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and keep in mind that major changes start with minor steps and keep up the good work. That defeats the purpose of what I was saying with uh, shorten the distance between like your chest and your pelvis. So don't